Uh, Lionel, uh, what do we learn with John Crines? Basically, this capital raising, and I tried to ask him many times, but he said, look, th this is it. Will markets test on whether they'll need more capital increase and more capital increase? So I think the, uh, it's good in terms of stability of Deutsche Bank. Remember last year there was a, a lot of worries over the existential future of this bank. I think this should put that to rest and even give it a kind of best-in-class capital ratio that should keep clients coming back in. I think the big question for shareholders is when do we see a profit? There's no deadline attached to these return targets. There's upfront costs. This is a costly strategy to reintegrate a bank. They said they were going to sell. There's a lot of uncertainty and no clear trajectory. And so what's exactly at stake here? Is it John Crine's job? He said he's 150% committed. How much time do investors give him? It's a good question. I think that he so far has been the man for the job, but it has been two years of losses. And he's now saying, give me a chance again with a new strategy. And there's very little management change up top. I, I, I think results have to be shown soon, you know, this year, really. Yeah, I mean, again, something that John Crine was saying, well, look, we'll need a little bit more time because we want to get it right this time. Um, what's the market perception of, of this U-turn, basically, on the strategy? I mean, he was at pains last year, 12 months ago, to say they don't need to raise capital, they don't need to raise capital, and they want to get rid of Postbank. He now says it's a legacy issue. If you see how stock markets reacted to Donald Trump's election and this kind of idea that the whole market is due a re-rating, even Deutsche Bank got a big boost on its share price, so much so that people, I think, forgot that there might be a, a, a capital increase after all. So there was a bit too much confidence, a bit too much excitement. Maybe now there's a bit more reality on what is due for this bank, which is more restructuring. Uh, Lionel, I know you, and actually at Gadfly, you were arguing that there needs to be more consolidation. What does M&A look like in Germany? So it's a very fragmented banking sector. Obviously, that's part of the reasons why Deutsche Bank had difficulty selling its retail arm post-bank. I think in future we should see more deals and hopefully even a Deutsche Bank, Commerzbank Bank merger, as has been reported. It's not such a bad idea, even if it is politically painful, would, would, would lead to job cuts. Why not?